Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel where I'm going to be sharing with you a quick and easy and also dynamic way to combine multiple worksheets in Excel. Keep in mind for this example, we have the same columns between different worksheets. Let's jump in. You'll notice for this example, I have two candy store sales data worksheets, one for the month of January and one for the month of February, and I want to combine them into one worksheet. To complete this, I can open up a brand new workbook and head to the data tab at the top, then select get data from file and from folder. You want to have the separate worksheets you want to combine saved into one folder so that in this step, you can click the folder and select open. And then in this dialog box, you should see both of your Excel workbooks listed. We then go to combine here at the bottom. And if you need to make adjustments to your data, you can select combine and transform data. But for this example, we'll just select combine and load. In the combine files dialog box, you can select the table listed and then click OK. And now you can see both my workbooks, January sales data and February sales data have been combined into one workbook. One of the benefits of using this method is that it's dynamic. So if I were to create a new workbook in the same folder called March sales data, I can then go back to my Excel worksheet and under the table design tab, I can select refresh and you'll see my March sales data has been loaded as well. If you'd like to check out a more advanced video on how you can use Power Query to transform the data you're combining, click my video link in the description. And team, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel as well as leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.